This episode of CleaningBiz.tv is made possible by the mobile inspection apps for cleaning companies, Inspect-A-Clean and Inspect-A-Home. If you're struggling with quality control in your cleaning business, these apps are the most affordable, feature-rich solution that will help you do a better job of inspecting your cleaning technician's work. For more information, visit inspectacleanapp.com and inspectahomeapp.com. How often do you have a meeting with a prospect, give your best effort to win the cleaning account, only to be disappointed once again? Do you ever take the time to evaluate the meeting afterwards? Or do you simply start working on your next prospect hoping for a better result next time? I've learned through the years that the majority of cleaning business owners never really stop to consider what went wrong or what they might have done better. The truth is, many people blame the prospect for any number of reasons. They wanted a cheaper price, they chose another company, or they simply are too busy to make a change right now. That's a simple way to let yourself off the hook for not doing a good enough job of converting them to a client. Anytime you lose the sale, ask yourself these questions to see what you might do better next time. Was I early for the appointment? Being on time isn't good enough, and showing up five minutes late is simply not acceptable. Always be early for prospect meetings, no exceptions. Did I prepare enough for the meeting? Did I do enough research? Did I familiarize myself with their business? Did I bring measuring tools and worksheets to record notes pertaining to the account? All these things add up to preparation. Too many business owners simply don't put enough time into research and preparation. Was I nervous? Nerves are common prior to meeting a prospect, but when you know your company's abilities and you're certain that you would be the best cleaning service for the prospect, then your nerves should calm down quickly. Was I organized or did I fumble around searching for things like pen and paper or business cards? This can give the prospect a negative impression. They figure if you're this disorganized at the meeting, what kind of disorganized business are you running? Did I have responses for the questions the prospect had about my cleaning service? Or did I stumble and say, let me get back to you on that? Now don't get me wrong, it's okay to say you'll get back to them if you can't answer a particular question. But sometimes people are so unprepared that they don't take the time to anticipate possible questions. So when they're put on the spot, they don't know how to respond. And that comes off or that comes off as being unprofessional. Did I apologize for anything? So sorry I'm late. Sorry, I intended to say. I'm sorry, I'm afraid we don't offer that service. Too many sorries and you'll be sorry you didn't prepare better. Did I continually feel as though I was on the defensive? If you let the client take control of the meeting, they may put you on the spot by asking tough questions. When this happens, many people get defensive. Pricing challenges are a good example of this, so don't let them control the meeting. Be confident and guide them through the meeting by asking the right questions. Did the prospect seem distracted? Maybe he took a phone call in the middle of your presentation, shuffled papers on the desk, or even watched the clock as you talked. This is a pretty obvious clue that you haven't engaged the prospect and you're losing his interest. When this happens, it generally means you're talking too much about you and not talking enough about the prospect's situation. Did I criticize their existing cleaners? It's quite tempting to point out your competitor's deficiencies as you walk through the building and see obvious dust and dirt buildup. But resist the temptation to badmouth the cleaning. The prospect already knows their current provider isn't doing a good job or they wouldn't be meeting with you. So, how'd you do? Are you being honest with yourself? If you are, then you have an opportunity to identify your deficiencies so you can do a better job the next time you meet a prospect. I'd like to hear where you feel you could improve on your prospect meetings. Please share your comments below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. That's it for today's show. If you'd like to improve quality control in your cleaning business, be sure to check out inspectacleanapp.com and inspectahomeapp.com. I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.